new world. This world will, from what I have set, uh, keep it very much alive. This world will be per not permanent. None of my worlds will ever be permanent. But this one will survive for as long as I can make it survive. Mostly because I have a... Static? What the fuck? Anyways, I am on a mission right now. Also, I, I love the fact that I, I have this anim this animation thing is really fucking cool. I, I, I love it so much. Anyways, I am on the look for the onlooker. Because I still want to know what that thing is. I don't know whether or not he spawns in the ground, but either way, I'm going to be searching in every biome. I know he doesn't spawn in the um, windswept hollow because, for whatever reason, in some of the environments, there's just a ch big areas of windswept and ash and crags. I mean, well, it's windswept mostly, but it seems that like it may have evened out a bit. At least in this world. In my last world, it definitely didn't even out. It was literally the entire world was uh, windswept hollows. Hi, bud. That's never hunger. Never hunger starving. Buddy, there's like food all around. I don't know what you're looking for. But also, I don't think it can spawn. I don't think the ever hung, not the ever hunger, the onlookers. I don't think the onlooker spawns in this biome either, because I haven't seen anything that looks like an onlooker. Static? What? If you hear any static, I'm very sorry. My headphones I need to replace soon. So we got a mission to check each environment. Wait, what am I thinking? He's right there, my dumbass. Okay, anyways. I don't actually know if he spawns specifically above ground or specifically below ground, but I will figure out where the fuck he spawns and find him. Given the fact that I've not seen anything on surface wise, I actually do believe he is a underground enemy. Or underground thing. Because I know those aren't the onlookers, because those these are the damned. You fool. Who's the fool here actually? Who who's the fool You fool! Who's the fool? You just Yeah, okay. Boink. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for, really. Because that's a hallucination, I know that. The glowing eyes are what I'm assuming is... Hmm. Yeah, I think he is a legitimate underground enemy. Because... I've been in this dimension a few times before I actually started recording today. Hell, I literally ran here with the Pikmin, funnily enough. They did not like this place, I don't think. But, um... What's interesting is, um... So I was roaming this area and I didn't find anything that would... I didn't have anything spawn. 
So I'm legitimately assuming, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he's an underground enemy, yes? Because either he's very rare and he spawns above ground, or he's a underground enemy and only spawns, well, underground. This got cut in half. He might spawn in um the two technical underground biomes. Got that slit over there. First place I'm gonna try. These guys need desolate to get the um, Shatterbone pickaxe. There's a mod that actually really complement complements um, um the deep void, right? Try immersive portals with the deep void. I tried it earlier. Obviously, performance issues. Beware. But because the deep void um generates um like there's a hole in bedrock. If you have um immersive portals, because if you place um the deep void underneath. Uh, the overworld through dimension stacking, and you then go to the zero zero, right? You'll find that you can actually fall, and you will fall directly into the deep void. No loading screen, nothing. That's how immersive portals is. Unfortunately, immersive portals does conflict with some things, like for example, entering this dimension that way does not give you resistance, meaning you will just fall to your death. At least from what I saw. So don't do that in survival, because you will just die, unfortunately. And also, it obviously had some performance issues because, you know, shocker. Feeling watched. Yes, I've been. I, I am being watched. I know from like all angles. Uh, maybe it's just because maybe that's because I'm fucking recording. But okay. We got flash in here. The void light did not care. If you're not gonna stop me, I mean, I'm gonna be yoking your stuff right there. I forgot that was a sound. I love the new sound, though. I love the new sounds, especially for, like, that, because it, like, like, it doesn't, it doesn't scare me, because, obviously, it did, it doesn't now, it did earlier, when I, when I first encountered it, but it doesn't now, but it's such a good sound. Hi, bud. Funny is that the deep void has become such a um a uh, icon in my in my in my world that I literally have like a, a plan of how I go through my world. I get diamonds in overworld, get enough to get mage gear, get enough to get um either a thing that prevents fall damage or whatever. Even then, um some trinkets to uh like. Uh, 
um, get Mage Light, and then once I have Mage Light and a Teleporter, both in the Overworld and in the Deep Void, I then go to the Deep Void. Because yes, there's a way out of the Deep Void, it's just better to have, like, a, a Waystone, because then I can choose where to go when I'm in the Void. Deep Void. And overall, it's just, like, much easier. But having that... I mean, you can also use the, the Void Core, but... Yeah. But, like, having that, like... It, and because, like, I go to the Deep Void to get, um... The materials there. Um... One of them being getting the, uh... What the fuck was its name? The Glutton Block. Sorry. C took me a while to figure out that name. Get the Glutton Block because it's gonna help me get Ender Pearls by generating iron using Botany Pots. And then, boom! I have Ender Pearls that I can use for teleportation, making Waystones, you know. Because, why not? And then, once I get that, I then figure out what else to do, <laughs> really. Like, eventually I will be fighting with from in this world. You're not the... That might be a bug, but that's horrifying, so... That might have been a bug, but that actually is a is a fucking cool bug. Just arms and legs coming after you, that's crazy. That is most certainly not intentional, but still, it's funny. Desolate because it's mine. Maybe there'll like be different like plants that can only grow in desolate that you can plant for like usefulness outside of obviously the um those. I mean, I, can you place someone on the surfaces? Yeah. Okay. So never mind. I don't really need the soil, but like, I'm surprised anything is or is organic and living in this dimension. Oh, there goes my light. But yeah, this. Oh, I I set them to the boom death rounds. I need to find them um, the candy cavity from Alex's cave so I can then make the arc again. My new my new go to um thing for a structure is always going to be an arc in my world. Once I have the flight mechanic, once I have flight. Oh, I guess there's a guy behind me. Once I get flight, I'll always try to make the arc, and then I get the um. The fuck was it called? The conversion crucible. Go to the the glooming death grounds, right? And then yoink the um dimension, or not the dimension. Yoink the. How do you guys spawn here? This is from the Pikmin mod. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I just find it funny that they. That's that's crazy. Anyways, moving on. Time to explore. Okay, how are these guys spawning in other dimensions? That's cr fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, so the Pikmin mod I have adds, as you can see, Pikmin enemies. And, um, apparently these guys survive. I'm surprised they're not dead. Obviously, it's just because... I just realize why am I? The, hold on, let me actually like utilize my Pikmin here, just because funny. <coughs> and he murdered my. <coughs> Note to self. Ah, uh, this guy's a, a jerk. Oh, you're right. 
I have a lot of Pikmin anyway, so. But I still don't. Those guys are difficult to beat without with without Pikmin. Apparently, they're stronger against players, but not against the little leaf guys. I still don't actually know how, like, in what particular environment. I'm gonna. Oh, you're just. Oh, what the fuck! I think there's a bug going on with Buddy, and I don't know. It's probably one of my mods, but that's funny. Anyways, I was gonna teleport now. I thought that was the onlooker. It I mean, he didn't look like the guy for like a moment. Better one over there. Doinking this. I like those structures. Those are really thematic. They're just like massive creatures. Just stuck. They're dead. But they were once alive. Smack. Yeah, 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 you get it. You don't like me, uh, doing shit. This is a... Oh, gold. Hey, bud! What's the vibe in? I'm just gonna break your spawners because I have no respect for you guys. And besides, you guys, me breaking your spawners will allow me to get even stronger. Because of these right here. I thought for a second that was a guy I didn't recognize.
Mike, thank you. Damn, I've got full inventory space. Uh, place these in there, because these are, like, far, far more important. Gold. I'll leave that there, because it looks cool. Arrows. So they tried to defend this. Wait, this is a different structure. Wait, this is a different look to it. I've not seen this exa I've not seen this very I'm not I've not seen this version of the structure. Cool. Hell oh, yeah. Variety. Anything on top of here? There is. Give me booty. No. I see you over there, bud. What you doing? Any of you seen the onlooker? Love to meet him. Especially given the fact that I have a history of killing whatever tries to mess around. Find out. Mm, time to get the flesh balls axe. Stop. I don't really care about that because I don't use the the charms in general. Because the charms are useful for making yourself invisible to those creatures. A. And then B, they also make it so um you can turn them into a craftable spawn egg. B. C? Fuck no, I don't know. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, so really I don't use them, so I don't really care if I lose that. I'll probably just drop it at some point. Hungry? Cool. Uh, not today. You ain't getting me today. Especially given I found out I can e I can even further increase my health. I love the ones that increase health. That. What the fuck?
them breaking their... I think something on my mod pack is causing their mo a animations to break. They weren't doing that before, but at the same time, they weren't doing that be even before that. Hmm, weird. Because I noticed that the eyes over there were, like, to the side, as if the model was, um, kind of having a problem. Is the onlooker the ghost thing that I found in the one place? Because if that's the case, then yeah, I've already found it, but... Doubt it. There's nothing down here except for more flesh sacks. Just collect some of this while I'm here. server uh. right. back to tracking down the onlooker not a frog I'm not looking for a frog Smith, my good friend. Mine. They say, um, life finds a way. Life fucking finds a way. <laughs> Obviously, it makes no sense for him to be here. I don't know why they spawn in this dimension. I guess they just made it so they spawn in every dimension. That's... Oh. I don't think there's really anybody can do, really, so... I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a coder, so I would not know at all. Oh my god, is it not? You'd have to do that to them. <laughs> 
These guys are actually getting in the way, unfortunately, because I'm... I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. Oh, my car was going off. I don't actually know if the the things moving around like that were intentional. Yeah, of course. One of the things I probably broke. I say one of the things I likely broke. I mean, who knows? Really. If I'm lucky, it's not something I broke, and it's just a little bit of the mod. At the same time, I hope it's something I broke because, well, at least I know who to blame. Me. Blame me. Actually, just blame me anyways. My fault for everything. Probably just restart. Not the world, not restarting the world world, but like restart thing. Maybe that fixes it. The whatever bug is causing their um, necks to be placed on sideways and upside down and backwards. I don't know if like... Give me it! Ah. Good void. Fun. There's a non hostile mob ahead? Huh? Frog. 
I hate the fact that the frogs are spawning. They shouldn't be spawning here. Why? So, I don't know where to find this onlooker, because I lack information. I believe he spawns in the ground, because of the fact that, like, I mean, I've been above ground for a very long time looking for this character, but at the same time, I don't actually know if he... Yeah, I just lack knowledge. I want to mark this spot. Because that's where the... Where is he going? is how far that is a distance and a half but oh well that's open I don't think I don't think that I don't know why that was open Sign there, that, that. I'm just gonna go back in here. Need to trade in these. Four more parts. Now I've got more hearts. Now I make my way to um the void. I'll go for a little bit longer, because I don't want this to be a bit... I want this to be at least watchable. Above? Is the onlooker just like an eye in the sky? Like, pops down every so often? You go, hey, what's going on? Down there. Flying enemy? I saw someone mentioning like more stru more bone structures. You know what would be probably cool? Okay, warden, not warden. Other guy, guy who really doesn't like me. Fuck off. If you don't like me, don't talk to me. That's that's just how it works. If you don't like the person, don't talk to them. It's as simple as that. A skull.
<laughs> Yo, attack him, come on. Fight! These guys are invading your land. You missed. You guys suck at fighting. That's all I gotta say. You guys have no fight in you. Alright. I love that, that phrase. I haven't restarted yet. They make some horrifying though. The fact that they're like all broken like that. Oh yeah, Wally, Wally Hop, come on. Fight me. Come on. Come to me. Come to me. Come to Papa. He went for that guy. He did not care. No, unfortunately, you're getting blindness, bud. Smack. Yeah, the frog despawned. I didn't bring a bucket. Wait, I did bring a bucket, but wait, can this even be placed here? It can. Fun. I can turn the the fluid into flesh. Aha! I bring more flesh to this environment. That's not what I intended to do in all honesty, but I guess I have that there. Is it underground in the windswept hollow? I mean, I don't exactly know, because... I feel like I've looked everywhere? Like, I mean, he's the onlooker, so maybe he's looking at me from a distance, but I haven't exactly seen anything. I could just be blind as hell, but I'm likely just blind as hell. Can I summon the nightmare through this way? I don't think I can actually. No, I don't think so. Do earthquake that shit. Do you have to be at? Imagine if there's actually an enemy that actually spawned. Um, at at the, at the bottom of the earth. Speaking of the bottom, I found bedrock. Yeah, I I literally don't know. It's it, it, I'm probably a dumbass in all honesty. This game is really dying. 
What the fuck? Hey, look! He's intact! He's intact! Never mind! <laughs> he was intact for like a moment and then he was no longer intact. Try to get out of this situation. What the fuck? That's the onlooker? Hi! What's your day? Jesus Christ! Cool, can we talk about this actually? I would love to talk about this. Uh I think we can actually we can maybe talk about this? Hi, bud! How's your day? Let's talk about this, okay? We don't fight and I let you go, okay? No? Gotcha! I guess you just make my life easier then. God, you're horrifying and you're twitchy. I hate this. I like this thing though. That looks cool. Hey, I get to see the uh, looker. I get to see the uh, looker. Oh. I'm guessing he's not something you fight. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't drop anything, I know that, because I've, I've, I've looked through most things that normally would be dropped. And he doesn't drop, he doesn't drop them. That's cool, though. <laughs> I like that. That was horrifying for a good few moments. That's what I like, though. Every update that adds, like, a new monster, I gotta find it. And especially if they're, like, the, um... I would call the Apex Predators here. I would like to call them the Apex Predators because they are effectively the Apex Predators. I like them a lot. Okay, fuck you then. Because they're... They're something that, like... Like, anything else, anything living, would just die to it if they attempted to fight it. Stalker, you die to it. Everhunger, you die to it. Nightmare, if you have a nightmare, you die to it. Uh, and then the onlooker. That guy's horrifying. I actually have a few ideas, actually. I like the onlooker. I really do like the onlooker. What if, right? Just just picture this, right? So he just appeared there, right? Which is cool, which is fine. I thought of an idea, though. What if, right? Similar to the, um... Similar to, um, Mr. Abductor. Or, no, not Mr. Abductor. Um, Mr. Stalker. Right? The guy who pops out of the darkness if you're in the dark for too long, right? Imagine, right? Just making sure that it's not too long. It will still be a pretty long time. I f I'm gonna definitely time stamp it. But let's say, for example, you're chilling in a cave, right? And let's say the onlooker is about to spawn. Well, instead of spawning immediately, right? You would maybe hear some spooky sounds. Is that actually what that was? The, 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 I mean, because he makes um, Enderman sounds, but what could be cool, right? And I don't know if the, I don't know like the ca the true capabilities of like the program you're using, but like I think it would be pretty cool, right? If like you like would be roaming about, you would look or what you would look down a corridor and you would like see like like maybe it would create like a fog effect, and maybe you might see like eyes just looking at you, right? Or maybe, another thing, is maybe when he spawns, the eyes that are here doing this, the ones watching the player, you would see them off in a distance, forming around something, and then that guy would form out of that. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't code. I don't know any of this. But I do like the look at that guy. He's creepy. Anyways, I will leave this video off. I found the fucker! I found him! <laughs> and now I have... And now I have nothing else to do. Except for sit down and relax in the deep void. But I shall leave you all with this.
I'll timestamp the time lo the time looker, the onlooker, so then um, y'all can see the reaction without having to listen to my blabbering throughout the entire video. Because obviously it's fucking 51 minutes long. Bye.